What's up guys? This is Main Event Montiel coming at you guys with another video. Welcome to the Montielverse. Good to have each and every single one of you here again with me. Thank you for joining me and we have a lot to talk about. And I just want to get this topic out of the way first. You know, the first video I had to make was this because I just, I can't believe this. I can't, I can't believe it. 14 years, okay? Imagine working 14 years for a goal you know, just trying to get noticed in a company, trying to get noticed to, to be something other than a background character. You know, being something more than a tag team player, a utility player. You finally get it, okay? You win that promotion, you get that promotion, which in this case is the Intercontinental Championship, and you hold it for a whopping 28 days. 14 years for 28 days. I just, I, I can't believe this. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there was ways that Jay could have, could have kept the belt and still been ingrained into the Bloodline story. But obviously Triple H felt like this was the best way to do it. And, and I knew it. And what was funny was I was having dinner with my friends at, uh, at an Applebee's. And this is literally the week before, the week before it happened. And we were discussing... Uh, WWE, whatever, and then this waiter comes up because he sees that I'm wearing the, the Yeet shirt, uh, and he, and he was giving me his thoughts on, like, what, he, what was gonna happen, like, oh, somebody's gonna cost him, the bloodline's gonna cost him the, the championship, he's gonna lose it to Dirty Dom, or he's gonna, you know, lose it to Braun Breaker, uh, either of the two, and it ended up being true, and it ended up being, you know, I agreed with him because I knew that Triple H was gonna go this way, but he didn't need it to go this way. Roman and Jimmy could have saved him. They could have played that angle. You know what I mean? They could have literally just traded LA Knight to Monday Night Raw and sent Jay to SmackDown um, in, in, in advancing weeks. Because, I mean, let's face it, everybody's showing up everywhere. So I don't really understand the whole Raw and SmackDown thing anymore. But it's just whatever. You got people in, in, the, in the Instagram comment section tweeting about this thing. Same thing saying, oh, you know, people don't understand and, you know, he, he needs to be in the bloodline story. I'm like, they didn't have to be mutually exclusive. He could have been the Intercontinental Champion. He could have been the one in the family with the title for once and, and Roman would have just had to accept that. You know what I mean? He'd have to stand next to somebody who did something on their own without his help, basically, in the last year. Because Jay has basically outgrown the bloodline to this point. Now, the story pretty much is he needs to join the OG bloodline to sort of get these guys off his back. So now it's a matter of self-preservation as well. And I'm, and I'm just really getting tired of this angry bird looking SOB, you know, Solo Sokoa. I'm, I'm just like, I can't stand him. Like, just the sight of him pisses me off. Like, seriously. And people are, you know, they're all like, oh, his character is so good now. But what's so good about it? What's so good about it, honestly? Like, he's a rip-off Roman Reigns half the time. You know, I give him credit where credit is due. He's showing more personality. You know, he's speaking on the mic more, the, the way he mocked Jay last week on the Yeet. Um, I give him credit for that, but half the time, he's pretending to be the tribal chief, literally. He, he sticks his hand out, you know, waits for the mic. He stole Roman's catchphrase. I mean, there's literally nothing original about this man. And then he wears, you know, a rip off the weekend suits every week. I just, what are we doing here? You know what I mean? Like, I cannot believe that Jay Uso lost his championship in 28 days. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Jay with that title could have done something of value, getting people to, to take him more seriously, like as a, as a champion, as a performer. You know, that first match against Xavier Woods is pretty good, all things considered. The match against Braun Breaker, you know, every time those two, you know, square up, it's entertaining. He could have gone against so many people. Ludwig Kaiser, uh, Kofi Kingston, uh, Karrion Cross, even at, at some point. Um, you know, like all the people, are, there's just so many, you know, people that he could have gone against. And you would have gotten like a different... Uh, dynamic, you know, even, you know, Jay against our truth would have been funny or The Miz, you know, there's so many people. This title opened so many avenues for Jay to go down. And Triple H just decided, you know what? 
let's just pull the plug on this. He got his moment. They even released a YouTube compilation of his rise of the last year. And as soon as they released that, I was like, yeah, I don't have a good feeling about next week. And sure enough, he lost. I just, I, I just, oh, like, I'm just so upset right now. I, I, it's just, it's so disappointing. And then there's the argument where you, oh, you have to protect Braun Breaker. Why does he get a rematch anyway? Like, nobody cares about Braun Breaker that much. When he won the championship, there was a few people in the audience, you know, clapping and whatever. But overall, it, it sucked. It literally sucked. Nobody was invested in that. And then they gave us a tease between Braun Breaker and Jacob Fatu. But like, I mean, when is that really going to happen? They do this all the time where they tease something and then it never comes into fruition. The only way I accept all this is that Jake gets that title back in coming weeks. And Roman and, and, and Jimmy are, are backing him up and they're watching his back in a rematch, you know, against Braun. And he wins it back. That's the only way I'm okay with this, but <clears throat> there's no reason why somebody that over should have had his title reign, like, destroyed that fast. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Jinder Mahal held the world title for months, and nobody liked him. You know what I mean? There's been champions that have, that have held the Intercontinental Championship longer. You know, John Morrison. Somebody who was cool, flashy, whatever. And but people still didn't get behind him as much. You know, he was nowhere near as over as Jey Uso. And he held the title three times and he held it for longer than 28 days. Santino Morella, you know what I mean? Like he wasn't all that in the ring and he held the freaking Intercontinental Championship for a, a decent amount of time. And then he went on to win on uh, the United States Championship for like 280 days or whatever it was before Antonio Cesaro took it over. So it's just, it, just, it just bothers me when you look at the wrestlers who haven't been all that in ring or the character was silly or, you know, they weren't that great on the mic. You look at all these people and you look at Jay and you're like, okay, well, why doesn't he get a long title reign? But these guys do. That's what really bothers me in retrospect when I look back at this. It really, really bothers me. I'm not a big fan of what Triple H has decided to do with this. But, you know, there are some people out there that... You know, they just want to hate on Jay and, you know, everybody's going to have the haters. That's fine. Look, I know he's not Shawn Michaels in the ring, but it's ridiculous to say that he's not a good performer. It's ridiculous to say that he can't bring about good moments. It's ridiculous to put aside the fact that he's the most over WWE superstar right now, I would say. Him and Roman are honestly like neck and neck. I don't feel like there's anybody else that's even close to Jay as far as being over. I mean, just watch the show, watch the reaction. You know, nobody gets the type of energy that, that Jay gets out of the crowd. It just doesn't happen. But anyway, um, it is what it is. We're, they're gonna get back at it this Friday night and hopefully there's gonna be some restitution for Jay Uso, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. All right guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces, stay tuned.